Hi, I'm Randy with Lancaster Archery Supply, here to give you a product review of Specialty Archery's clarifiers and how to choose your clarifier size or power. Uh, first, I want to start by saying basically the clarifier itself is designed for when you're using a sight that has or accepts a lens, you know, and you're using that lens in it, generally with like a two power or more uh, lens actually inside of that. So what happens is, is you may find that when you're looking at your target, your, either your pin isn't very clear or your target isn't completely clear when you're looking through the lens. So it's important that you have both, obviously, to make sure that you're getting the best performance out of your, your setup, to, that you're seeing your pins really well and you're also seeing your, your uh, target very well. Basically, there are five different aperture sizes within each clarifier. You know, we have the number one, the number two, and the number three. And I'm going to explain to you how to choose that right power. But first, we actually want to choose the diameter. Um, it's important to choose the right diameter because you want to make sure that when you're actually looking through your housing, that you're seeing just the very edge of, of your actual housing, regardless of the size. And it's going to vary depending on your draw length and also depending on uh, how far your sight is away from it. So um, the farther out it is, the smaller we're able to use our peep sight because it's a smaller field of view. The farther in it comes closer to our peep sight or closer to our eye, basically you're going to need a bigger aperture size or bigger clarifier size. So um, it's important to choose the right size, making sure that everything lines up where your peep height is at a natural spot, where you don't have to move your head or anything, making sure that, it, that it's very centered. So I'm going to start with the number one. Basically with the number one, that's going to accommodate like your two, three, and four power lenses. Um, and then if you're using a higher power, like a lot of times the number two is going to accommodate like your five, six, and seven power. Number three is generally going to be for like an eight power or more. Sometimes people shoot like an eight or a ten power, you know, in, in some rare cases, you know, then you're going to need a number three. And what you're going to find is when you're trying these, um, you have to make sure that you're paying atten close attention to your pin and you're also paying attention to your target. You know, making sure that once you find the right size, you have a very clear crystal you know, define pin, and you also have a very clear target. Um, so what happens is, if your clarifier power is too high, what you're going to find is it's almost gonna, like it's going to be zooming past your pin, where you won't have much of a pin, you may have a double pin, it may be haloed, um, but your target might be really clear. So that means you need to go down in clarifier power. If your clarifier power is too low, you may see your pin really well, but your target's not going to be quite as clear. So again, you want to make sure that you get find the right balance and you, know, you basically find where your pin and your target are both really clear. Uh, when you're using installing or adjusting the, uh, the actual different clarifiers within your peep housing, it's important to use the Specialty Archery's peep wrench. Um, reason being is this, it's actually a plastic wrench. Has the uh, quarter inch size on the back, also has the 532nd for your standard size apertures on the other side. Um, what that does, being that uh, it's plastic, it's going to not mar up or uh, chew up the edges of that like a regular Allen wrench might. Um, so it's going to be making sure that it stays completely black anodized like it is. Because it's aluminum, we wouldn't want any light to come in there and, and cause any type of glare. For more information about the specialty archery clarifiers, visit LancasterArchery.com.